This is a battle in the blue tournament between VM Noldo and USSR M Olkimos. I can't see their factions yet, but I'll be able to in a second. So we have Lusitani versus Carthage. Um, this is the Carthaginian build I wish I brought <laughs> against Diplomats Lusitani on Alexandria. Not exactly, but pretty close. Uh, he has a lot of cavalry. Let's see here. Okay, so for Lusitani, we have a front line of nobles, one noble, noble general. Then I believe we have six veteran shields. Uh, four Skutari cavalry. Iberian swords. A bunch of Iberian skirmishers, a curious choice. Two Balearic slingers in the center. The general is, of course, a strategist, and we have Skutari spearmen on the flanks. Very good against cavalry. For Carthage, we have from memory five Carthaginian cavalry, six Libyan hoplites, noble general, a few late Carthaginian hoplites and Libyan hoplites, also some late Libyan hoplites, I believe, and two mercenary Cretan archers. This is a hot map which is going to benefit Carthage if Carthage can stay alive for long enough. Um, the rules of this tournament makes it easier for Carthage to handle Lusitani on this map. Um, because Lusitani can only bring a maximum of 8 sword units. So Carthage probably knows that it's going to be 2 nobles uh, and 6 veteran shields. Possibly. But let's see here. He actually only has 5 veteran shields and 1 Iberian sword. So 1 less veteran shield than I expected. But still Carthage really has its work cut out for it. Also two Samnites, I believe. Carthaginian cavalry rushing up here to scout a bit. And same on the other side. Uh, there's This is a strong position for Lusitani uh, because it will protect the Lusitani from missiles. But the Lusitani infantry is going to be far less effective on the charge. And they really want to get their 30 charge bonuses off against the Carthaginian infantry. So uh, this is sort of the decision you have to make with the Lusitani. Are you going to be charging in the wood and be safe from missiles? Or are you going to be charging on the open and be uh, exposed to missiles? Because units like Cretans can just destroy uh, veteran shields and Lusitani nobles with their crappy armor and their even worse shields. So these guys are not as sturdy as other mid-tier sword units in terms of... Um, they have very good morale, but in terms of armor, they, it, it just isn't there. Very good melee defense, extremely good melee defense, extremely good melee attack. But they just die so, so easily. And here we have the... looks like we have the Carthaginian main line with mercenary Cretans already firing into the Lusitani nobles. So in this situation, it is actually good for... Uh, for Lusitani to be in the forest, but Carthage is playing it very smart here, pulling away, kiting the Lusitani army. And the kiting away here is actually very smart because this is going to allow the river to sort of protect the flank of Carthage from these Lusitani units. They're going to be much slower moving through the water here. And these late Carthaginian hoplites and late Libyan hoplites, they're actually moving across the river for some reason. We'll see how that plays out. So no Lusitani nobles have died yet to the skirmish fire, this is in the forest. Mm, but this might actually be a good tactic from Carthage, because this is going to tire out the Lusitani units more than it's going to tire out the, the Carthaginian units. The Carthaginian units have a resistance to heat, Lusitani units do not. So Lusitani has a choice here, either keep, keep rushing after Carthage and lose stamina, or uh, sort of walk and eat more fire. On the way in and I really like what he's doing here uh, these veteran shield warriors are going to get a horrible charge here in the river so he's actually just going to put his men in phalanx here and be like come on please please do please charge me we'll see how it works I haven't tried eating charges in water the veteran shields are taking fire let's see how the main engagement starts happening here we have a very nice charge from veteran shields uh, from uh, Libyan infantry into veteran shields and they're doing a lot of damage to them. 
Libyan infantry and I quite like how he staggers his units like this because this is going to allow units to pour fire into the engagements and you can see how quickly the veteran shields are going down also due to the fire from the mercenary cretans. So using the Carthaginian cavalry very defensively here, super nice use, just screening away all of these units and uh, keeping these units in reserve while the veteran shield warriors are just eating so much fire that even Libyan infantry is going to be able to uh, defeat them if this keeps up. Libyan infantry taking fire from Iberian skirmishers and from Balearic slingers, but in the forest they're not going to be able to do much. Here we have Scutari spears up against uh, late Libyan hoplites. The late Libyan hoplites don't really stand a chance against Scutari spears, but if they pop phalanx they're going to be able to do better against the, uh, against the Iberian units. The veteran shield warriors have gotten a lot of kills, but uh, here you can see the mercenary samurais are actually getting outclassed by the uh, lightly armored, uh, by the lightly armored Iberians. Carthaginian cavalry gets the charge on the Scutari cavalry. Very bad for the Scutari cavalry. Uh, the Scutari cavalry is going to lose that engagement horribly now if they're not supported. Here we have one cheeky Iberian unit coming into the forest, but there are so many Carthaginian cavalry units here available to stop the Scutari cavalry, increasing the morale to try to hold these units in the fight for a bit longer. Here we have the late Libyan Hoplites popping their um, their uh, phalanx, and now they're actually going toe-to-toe -to -toe against the Scutari spearmen, so very nicely done there. They are great little units if they only had precursor javelins. Now this Scutari cavalry, here you can see how quickly Scutari cavalry goes down when it's being focused on by several units. Uh, 55 armor for a uh, cavalry unit is just not enough to keep it in the fight for long. Here we have Carthaginian cavalry fighting up against Scutari cavalry as well. And over here you can see how poorly the Scutari cavalry does against Carthaginian cavalry when it doesn't get a charge. Any cavalry unit is going to do poorly, but it's especially devastating for these units that have a nice charge bonus, but doesn't really have a lot of armor. So the Lusitani army is sort of beating itself to death on the Carthaginian front line here. Some very nice engagements, very nice uh, charge blocks from done by Carthage. But Carthage has lost a lot of men in his general's bodyguard. Needs to be careful about that because he's still taking damage and the general just might die or rout straight off the field now. And if the Carthaginian general dies, then this is going to be... A r oh, he's dead. He's gone. He's off the field. The general recently died, so now there are a lot of skirmishers left on the field for um, for uh, Lusitani. Carthage charging straight through the gap in the lines, going for the Balearic Slingers. They're going to get in and do a lot of damage to them. Here we also have more Carthaginian cavalry units coming in to take care of the Iberian skirmishers. But the Carthaginian uh, infantry doesn't really do too well, but here we have the Lusitani nobles attacked in the rear, being fired upon by mercenary Cretan archers. Uh, not being able to deal with the Cretan archers might prove to be the undoing of this Lusitani army if the Lusitani nobles are destroyed. But these Carthaginian units in the center here, they're not doing too well. The Lusitani nobles still alive, although they are exhausted. There's still an Iberian sword here. There's still a veteran shield there, although it's super depleted. Uh, but I think Carthage, if the general falls, Carthage could be able to wrap this one up. Because the general is going to get charged by Libyan infantry, late Carthaginian Hopites. Uh, so he's going to do very well against the late Carthaginian Hopites, but he is fresh. These guys are winded. Uh, the phalanx is going to allow them to hold for longer. But the fire incoming here against the Lusitani nobles is just going to wreck the Lusitani nobles. These Qatari spears are going to do a lot of damage to the Carthaginian cavalry in the forest. But, I mean, this, is <laughs> this has been a great great battle. Uh, very, very good moves pulled by both players here. I think putting the men in the, putting the men in the water has to be, has to be, that is MLG. I mean, very nice. I've never seen anyone done that, uh, do that before on Alexandria, so I quite like it. Mercenary Cretans using their, uh, their ability to increase the rate of fire for some time it might actually just kill the uh, kill the Lusitani nobles here if they're lucky. It's a bit random if the general when the general dies in a unit, but this looks like a moment where he could just die. But for Carthage, there isn't a whole lot left on the field now, really. 
Uh, the Skutari Spears could potentially hold here. Libyan infantry left. Oh well. <laughs> I'm not going to try to call it, but uh, it's super, super even. These Iberian skirmishers came back. The Lusitani nobles are still not dead, but it's, there must be only a few volleys away from, from dying. This forest is helping them so, so much. But it's only a matter of time until they die. Yeah, the Skutari spearmen are wavering in the center to Libyan Hoplites. 84 kills on Libyan Hoplites. Uh, the general, the army is losing, and that is game. So, that was a much better example of how to take on Lusitani with Carthage than mine. So, very nicely played by uh, Ulkemos. Uh, didn't get a huge amount of kills in the Mercenary Cretans, but these are very important kills. The veteran shields overall do very, very well against uh, Carthaginian infantry, but I quite liked how we was able to use the terrain. 120 kills on late Libyan Hoplites and 104 on Libyan Hoplites. That is serious MLG stuff, so very good battle. Uh, saw some things there that I have never seen before, so thanks for that. Strength and honor.